Kaz used Exorcism. Was not expecting. Are they going to take this fight? Exorcism is down. Matic is in. Luna is dead. Mortimer's Kisses are coming down. NK Rate is going to go down as well. She has to go down. Shifts is going down. Canadian is there. They have to get on top of the sniper. They have to get on top of the sniper. There's the ultimate. They're going to wipe them. They're going to wipe them. The Dire have completely wiped them. Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dota 2 NPC, the new player circuit being recorded live on Twitch TV in front of an absolutely wonderful audience. And we are here today celebrating new player Dota. And uh, what you're seeing here is you're seeing five stacks uh, of uh, new players, 5v5, all of which are new player players. Some of them have, you know, a little bit of a little bit more experience, maybe 100 hours of play, but like they're low herald. Uh, and uh, it's a really exciting time to play Dota when you are able to do it. With a coach, each team has a coach. Coaching the Radiant is Mr. Jesserly. His Twitch will be linked down below. An absolutely wonderful contributor to this community, an all-around awesome guy. And then we have Mana, a uh, you know a kind of um, constant source of inspiration for our Twitch chat. Coaching the Dire side, so a community member who has been very interested in Dota 2 coaching. So we have two fantastic coaches helping out, and welcome to the Dota 2 NPC, the the, uh, the Dota 2 new player circuit. Let's introduce the players. So, on the Radiant, we have NK Wright playing the offlane as Timbersaw. Now, you guys would know NK Wright. She has been an absolute staple of the Dota 2 NPC, but she is a still relatively new player, but she has gotten a lot better. You're seeing a lot of improvement on NK Wright, particularly pulling out a timber saw. This is the first time I've ever seen her play timber. I'm really excited. Supporting her is Shifts. Shifts, a longtime community member on Marana. And then we have Daedalus playing. Is this, this can't be position one. Is this position one Death Prophet? That's what I love about the NPC, man. You never know what you're gonna get. We have a position one Death Prophet and Liquid Oxygen, who is getting stunned with an arrow right now. Looking at almost dying, but Liquid Oxygen does survive as there's action all throughout. So, Liquid Oxygen position 5, uh, Ancient Apparition with a Death Prophet position 1. Looking at mid, we have Captain Matic playing one of my favorite mids, Void Spirit, with Canadian playing Sniper. Now, Canadian we've seen on Sniper before, an absolute amazing <laughs> Sniper player. And uh, for a relatively new player, Canadian has been damn solid. Moving to the Radiant safe lane, we have Marty Mouse playing Luna again. We've had Marty Mouse on the, the NPC before, uh, and I believe they play Luna. And so they've made a lot of progress. They're telling us that they're feeling pretty good. So here we go. And um, uh, and we have uh, Nadavago on Io. This is the first time we've seen Io in the NPC, and it's the first time we've seen Nadavago as well. Is he a smurf? Only one way to find out. And we have Insane Shane, longtime community member as Witch Doctor, position four. And we have Bot Burt, who's not actually a bot, who is playing Snapfire. Are they position three Snapfire? There's some interesting picks this game. Dyer went a little interesting with the selections here. We have two cores on either side, an off laner and a safe laner that are not traditional cores. So we'll have to see how this plays out. We, got, we have a traditional uh, mid, which is great. But uh, regardless, right, we have some uh, some interesting stuff going on here in Dota land. And then push the wave. We're having NK Wright and Daedalus is making a move. But NK Wright is super tanky. Making a move on him. And he does not die. But NK Wright goes down first for first blood. Liquid Oxygen getting first blood on, uh, on Ancient Apparition. As Shifts has to deal with the lane by themselves momentarily. And the thing about Daedalus as a DP... You basically just ignore the uh, reactive armor of Timbersaw. His armor doesn't really matter because you just stick to him with Siphon and it doesn't like, it just doesn't do anything, right? So it's it's just so awesome to see. Is it a counter pick? Hold on. We were, we were kind of poking fun at Daedalus before for going position one Death Prophet. Who's laughing now, I guess, right? We're, we're kind of seeing the benefit of how this Timber can't really do much. Regardless, a really interesting start to the game here. Good pull by Shane and Burt. To kind of reset the lane equilibrium here, bringing it back here for the Dire. They're going to end up under tower here. Marty Mouse doing a good job punishing them, not letting them just kind of secure the wave. But it looks like Io is going to die. That is a lot of maledict damage that's going to be coming out. He should tick out. Rest in peace, Io. Good effort, friend. Good effort, as our, our friend Suns fan would say. Good effort indeed. And we have a good pull happening from Liquid Auction here. Now remember, this is relatively, this is like new player Dota. I want you to see 
The thing that I think surprises a lot of players is how, like, decent the Dota is. There's there's the Mimi stuff, someone's gonna build two boots, and there's gonna be mistakes, and that's fine. But you're seeing them mechanically doing the right things. You're seeing them pulling, you're seeing them paying attention to lane equilibrium. These are things that I think that, like, 3k, 4k players are like, ah, you know, Heralds are so bad, you guys think that everyone's playing with a trackpad. It's like, honestly, new players and Heralds, like, they, they tend to have more talent than, than you tend to realize. And the thing about them as well is a lot of these players come from other games. They'll come from League of Legends. They'll come from, uh, you know, uh, League of Legends. And basically, they have the mechanical skill. They've played MOBAs before. It's just putting it into translation. Deny the... Deny the... Oh. So Canadian... So that's the thing, right? Like, a new player might not have realized that he could have shot the rune and denied it from the Void Spear, right? So that would have been beneficial for Canadian there. But, like... Mechanically, you'll be surprised how talented some of the players are, especially when they come with prior mobile experience. We missed a kill down below here. Insane Shane going down. Marty Mouse killing the courier as well. And then we have NK right. I think she could die. He's lacking he's lacking mana and health, but like with Siphon, let's see if he goes on him here. Oh, just broke it, broke it. But now Murdoch's here. Damage is being done. Oh, just missed the dissimulation. But it looks like NK right, like so much magical damage. This feels like a terrible timber game right now. But uh, you know, NK right always has a plan. I'm always continuously surprised what NK right is capable of doing. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. As you can see, the fight is actually kind of setting up a little interesting here. And uh, Murdoch's gonna go back to mid as the sniper chips away at this tower. A bit. Daedalus, that is an aggressive move. Oh, the arrow missed by shifts. Okay, this is going to be crazy. He has exorcism. He has exorcism. Is he going to use his ult? He's not going to use his ult. Daedalus holds the ultimate. But I think that, like, I think they could have gotten a kill there. Daedalus still going. Hmm. And remember, Daedalus has, now he has infused raindrops and a magic wand. He is tankier than you might. Oh, 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 almost shifts. Almost the big arrow on shifts there as we got a little bit of a mix-up bottom here as Marty Mouse and Notavago Try to go on Shane. Shane watch yourself. This IO has been doing work on you. Oh No, there's the maledict. There's the maledict. Is it enough to kill Marty Mouse? Daedalus is bottom. Daedalus is bottom Exorcism has been popped. Is Marty Mouse gonna die here? I think it should be enough damage. The the Mortimer's kiss has come out. Notavago's out. It is a successful gank from the safe lane Death Prophet, who's now gonna take this tower with Exorcism. An excellent play overall. Notavago is here and trying to make something happen. They are pushed. No, Liquid Oxygen! Rest in peace, sir. Oh, Liquid Oxygen probably felt so safe at the tower, but ends up going down via two supports. The position four and five teaming up to take down the support. You love to see it. But it's only a minute and a half later that the Radiant respond by taking this tower. Shane misses it. Oh, no. Okay, we have the ult coming out, but without Maledict, it's not going to... Shane knows he's dead, and Shane dies, but is it, Mortimer's Kisses are coming out. The Mortimer's Kisses get dropped, and it doesn't kill anybody. NK right does have the Hood of Defiance, uses it appropriately there to kind of... This DP. Oh, no. DP, what are we doing? Daedalus, you're strong, buddy, but I don't know if you can 1v5 them on the other side of the map. <laughs> Oh, Canadian is probably loving that. Now, Canadian is doing pretty well, too. Getting pretty farmed. He has his, uh, he has his Dragonlance done. It's coming to him now. There was the, uh, the courier sending it over. And I think he wants to take this mid tower. Mid is the most important tower in the game. You want this tower. It creates so much vision, so much map pressure. It opens up, if you lose mid early, it opens up the ability for the enemy team to kind of just run right into your jungle, cause a ton of problems. Like, it just, it, it gives access to your entire jungle and to your triangle. You don't want that to happen. So you really want to take this mid tower. And right now, both of them have, like, really defended it well. But with that being said, Canadian, because of his ability to rapidly clear with shrapnel, which I bet you you're going to see him do. I bet you he clears this with shrapnel, which is exactly, yeah, see, perfect. He's clearing with shrapnel. But what I love here is you have two supports, now three with Daedalus, as the position one, defending this mid tower. They want to hold this mid tower. This is good Dota, man. This is good Dota. It's exactly what we want to see. Now, oh no, Daedalus. He's trying to turn. He's trying to turn. There's too many of them. Daedalus, no, Daedalus is going to go down. Canadian is starting to get really fat as a sniper. And this is the problem. When you get huge on a sniper, 
you can just right click guys man and no Tavago is doing a good job allowing this Mar uh, allowing marty mouse to farm and here's the concern for dyer right now they're not a farming team like they don't really have a traditional core like so what you end up getting is a situation where like if you don't it's like you can't snowball this this sniper is gonna get huge this luna is gonna get huge What's the answer on Dyer? Like, that's kind of... The draft is a little bit of a concern here. It's a little unorthodox. And um, they do have a lot of potential to do some interesting things. Like, I think Daedalus can kill NK right here. Right? I think uh, I think, I think think boots are on order for Daedalus to keep up with NK right. But also, NK right with uh, with Timber Chain is going to be a very hard kill for, for Daedalus to kind of keep hold of. They are making rotations here. I think they see NK right. She is out of mana. Dangerously out of mana. She is going to regret not having mana right now. And there, oh, good ults, good ults. They're committing a lot to NK right. Space is being created here. Are they gonna take her down? Oh, Maraud ults out. Oh, does she tick out? She gets away. NK right gets away with the Maraud ult. Well played indeed. That was an excellent play. Good timing on the Maraud ult there. And uh, NK right having just enough, just enough HP. To kind of just get away. I'm just worried that Radiant's going to run away with this game. So here's NK right. Seen a little bit of trouble. Good rotations here from Notavago. That is a uh, a relocate being used. Daedalus. Oh, good stun. Good stun. A little, little short on the stun there. But a good follow up here. Good follow up. She has used Exorcism. Was not expecting. Are they going to take this fight? Exorcism is down. Matic is in. Luna is dead. Mortimer's kisses are coming down. NK Wright is going to go down as well. She has to go down. Shifts is going down. Canadian is there. They have to get on top of the sniper. They have to get on top of the sniper. There's the ultimate. They're going to wipe them. They're going to wipe them. The Dire have completely wiped them. I did not expect that to happen at all. Dire has completely taken them out. A five-man wipe. And that, my friends, is going to slow down your Luna and your sniper. Timber, is, 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 is NK Wright going to go on top of Snapfire? Remember, Snapfire is brand new to Dota, but he's got backup. He's got backup from Void, and it looks all NK Wright is going to accept the feed here. File, oh, still fighting, but there's no... And... Tell me NK Wright gets away here. There's four now. I mean, this is space created. If you're NK Wright, you did your job. Oh, no, Navago's in! No, 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 Mago was probably trying to save him. It's not going to work. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Go. What? Are you kidding me? He got away? Like, th this is why I love this game. This is why I love the NPC, man. What a re what a play, man. I can't believe he got away. Oh, the relocate was so good. The timing was impeccable. I, I cannot believe he didn't get killed. Oh, we got a big arrow. Big arrow lands. Is the tower going to take him out? Uh oh. Uh, Shifts is out of range. <laughs> oh, no. Shifts. Shifts. No, don't stand in there. Shifts. No. <laughs> no. Can I show net worth? Absolutely, I can. What, 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 did I not say Desolator? What did I say? But hell, what did I say? We've got a fight coming here. Liquid Oxygen is going to pay for Is he dead? Liquid Oxygen? He's got to die, right? He's dead. Burnt TP's out. All right. So the net worth, Brooklyn at Luna at top, Void in second, and then third is the Sniper. Third but I think they're they're looking for guys. They're looking for the mans to take down. They want to take down some players. Marty Mouse running into vision here. They're, I think they might go on him. They are. They're going on the Luna. Luna's dead. And Notavago has no choice but to back off. Shifts is coming in to defend this tower. NK right is here, but has no mana. NK right has no mana. She's gonna die. Oh, the humanity. Oh no. Oh no, she just went in and ate all that damage. Oh, is Matic gonna go in? 
What a ruthless savage. I thought he was going to dive in. So dire with this draft. I can't believe it, guys. I bet you if I showed you the draft and I said, who do you think is going to win? There's no way you're taking the dire as the void dies. I, I, I honestly, you still can't count out the rating because you have a sniper and a Luna and eventually they have to take over this game, right? Like, if the longer this game goes, like, if, if, if Daedalus dies here, if Daedalus dies and slows down, like, pretty much their entire game, there's a chance that, that Radiant just run away with this game now. Like, they want Daedalus dead. But Daedalus is going to get away. Bot, uh, Bert's going to get away as well. Oh, there's a smoke. We got a smoke. Let's see where they're going. They're going right to the triangle. Who are they going to find? They're going right to the triangle. Who are they going to find? They're going to find somebody. They're going to find Daedalus and Bert. They're right in. There's the Eclipse. Daedalus is certainly dead. There's no way da Daedalus pops the BKB. But there's too much right click damage coming out. He's dead. Shane is in trouble. And now, oh my gosh. Shane, run. Shane's out. Shane's out. Murdoch's in. And Murdoch takes down the sniper. He's going crazy. You gotta be kidding me, Murdoch making a play, you're trying to go, oh no, trying to go after the IO, it's not gonna work! And he's down! Murdoch goes down! And Liquid Oxygen is most certainly dead as well, so we have almost a full team wipe. Now, on the Dire! Murdoch, name 238 mispronounced by Alex. How is it not Murdoch? Is there no R? There's no R in it, is there? I've said it a bunch of times. I'm pretty sure there's no R in it. Matic. All right. Okay. It's Captain Matic. My apologies. I don't know why I'm saying Murdoch. His name should be Murdoch, damn it. But it's Matic. I wonder what Mr. Jester has in store for us here. So there is a sentry there. I think there's a sentry. They know they're there. Matic goes in, does the burst damage, and does shifts go down. So they're going after Matic. If Matic goes down, this is problematic. No pun intended. And he, he doesn't have... He has to simulate just in time. There's the kisses. Notavago's down. NK Wright's going to take a lot of damage here. She's going to take a lot. She goes down. And Marty Mouse is kind of all by herself. Remember, she does not have... Marty Mouse does not have BKB. Look at the damage from the sniper. And that's the problem. So Marty Mouse goes down... But Canadian is right-clicking everybody, kills the Void, but Daedalus does take them down as well. So it's five dead for the Radiant once again. Daedalus has the ult. R run mid, maybe. I think you just run mid, try and force buybacks. Oh, they might be thinking Roshan here with the ultimate. They might be thinking Roshan, like... Yeah, it looks like they're going to Rosh. Let's take a look at the graphs here. So we had a bit of a swing up and then a swing back down here. This, okay, this this game has been absolutely insane. I, something's happening mid here. There's gonna be a fight. This is gonna be an awkward fight. Marty Mouse is in. The initiate the sniper's running. Sniper's gonna get here fast. Sniper is here. Shane is down. Luna is down as well. And it looks like NK Wright is gonna suffer a fate as well as NK Wright is being surrounded. The timber chain doesn't land. They're trying to get on top of Canadian. But Canadian's kind of holding their ground. But I, he's not going to be able to do much here. There's the wand. And he's down. No buyback on the Luna. We do have a buyback on the sniper available. That sniper can buy back and protect this, this high ground. That is one thing that you know sniper can do. I'm... Oh. Did, did he just not... Did he buy something out? He had buyback, right? Am I crazy? Sniper had buyback, right? Did he buy it out? Huh. Okay. I'm now I'm trying to like Alex. Did I see things incorrectly? Perfect. If he bought it out, I mean that's that's an interesting choice. I would have thought. I mean, would, I don't chat. What do you guys think? I would have thought buying back there and holding this high ground would have been effective. Almost, I'm almost 99%, but Carter, Carter is confirming, confirming that he did, he did buy out. And now, like, now I think that now they lose, though. 
I, that might be the game because with that buyback, I think it would have prevented because you don't have the uh, you don't have que uh, the uh, death profit alt, right? Going high ground against snipers hard enough. They're not that far ahead. It's 7k, but still a sniper who's relatively farmed can hold that pretty hard. I don't know, man. I, I honestly, I gotta be honest with you right now. I can't believe they didn't take that mid tower. I'm really surprised right now. Despite all that, like I, it looked like this game was over, but it's not. They're, they're resetting. So they're gonna take Roshan here. Radiant has not scanned, does not know. It's kind of just farming. And this is gonna be Shard and the Aegis. Who's gonna grab the Shard? Who's gonna grab the Shard? They almost all have Shards. I mean, Matic doesn't have his Shard yet. It's 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 for Matic. He grabs the shard. And Aegis on Matic as well. So talk about a net worth advantage there. He, he probably should use the shard. Does he realize he has to eat it? He might he might think that he just got it. I don't think he realizes he has to actually use it. Oh now he does. There you go. There you go. We've seen stuff like that happen in the past. At least no one denied the Aegis that to this time. That's exciting. So Matic now has this is a huge burst of net worth for Matic. Okay, so we have a single hero showing in lane. Everyone else smoked. They're holding high ground. Can they, they're gonna go on this. They're going on Canadian, I think. Especially if Matic, if Matic still has DD. He bottled that DD. He used it. Matic's in. Sniper's in trouble. Scythe of the Vise used. Sniper bursted. Sniper's dead. No buyback on Sniper. Luna can buy back. But it looks like this is just an absolute train wreck. And when you have, now you have the exorcism just completely eating the, the base. And this, my friends, is going to be good game. Canadian calls it. NK Wright respecting the opponents. It was an absolutely fantastic game of Dota. Guys, this is why I love the Dota 2 NPC. Because you get amazing games like this. With unconventional drafts. With people that just with confidence play these heroes, and you see Dota in a new light. This was fantastic, and I thank you so much for watching, and a very special thank you to our subscribers. If you are interested in playing in the Dota NPC, check the description below where you can join our Discord, where we do this every once in a while. It's a lot of fun. I invite everyone to come try and to come watch, of course. I'm also gonna leave a link to Mr. Jesterly's Twitch stream, because he's an absolutely fantastic contributor to the community, and you get to watch his perspective as well. We'll see you in the next Dota 2 NPC.